a stereotype of German people, don't we? That they're very efficient, a ruthlessly efficient nation, manifested brilliantly, I felt, in the name of a soft drink I came across, the name of which translated as thirst solver. As if your body's need for water is just some irksome trouble to be rectified with swift and brutal precision by what is presumably some sort of revolting isotonic drink. Absolutely disgusting. But as good as that was, it wasn't my favourite product that I came across. The best thing I came across was a chocolate bar. It goes by the name of Ritter Sport. It's a little square of chocolate. It's available here as well. And it was the advertising that really caught my eye. Because in the UK, we're used to a connection with, with relaxation, enjoyment. Something like, have a break, have a Kit Kat, or a Mars a day. That kind of thing. Fine. The tagline that the Germans chose for this particular chocolate bar is as follows. Quadratisch praktisch gut. Or, for those of you that don't know, square, practical, good. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? It's not the word square I object to there at all. That's an objective statement of fact. That's fine. It's not even the word practical I object to. Although it's not a word I would use to describe confectionery myself. That would be like someone turning to you and saying, how was dinner? And you say, well, the mash was robust, the carrots were ductile, but I worry that perhaps the pork medallion was a little unoriginal. You know, they're just not words that anyone's going to use. But I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall in this meeting with these staggeringly unimaginative people who were, for whatever reason, in charge of how this was going to be marketed. You know, I can just see them there going, well, square is fine. Uh, it, it is a square. Yeah. It's really much too late to do anything about that now. Uh, and practically, it's fine as well because you can break a piece off the square, and with the chewing, this becomes the eating. And yes, but we need one more word. One more word to mark it our chocolate bar. And then Ludwig pipes up from the corner of the room because Ludwig's in the meeting as well as me, and he's new. I'm there making a documentary about it for ITV2, but Ludwig's in the corner and he pipes up and he says, How about delicious, delicious chocolate bar? And the others look at him and they say, Look, Ludwig, 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 you have so much still to learn. Delicious is too much. We need to bring it down. We need the most neutral, unexciting word we can think of. The mildest assertion of quality that this language can afford. <laughs> it's a dreary, insipid, lifeless thing that we can possibly dredge up from amongst the paltry collection of guttural oral spasms that constitute our language.